Good day, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good whatever you got going on. How's it going? It is Friday and we are streaming live. This is SketchUp Live, everybody. Uh, I'm your host, I'm Aaron, and uh, with me as always, or with me when I'm lucky, is Jody Gates. Do you like how I talked you up right there? Do you feel that feel good? I just try to try to make the world a better place than you know, leave the world a better place than when I found it. Um, yeah. So, so we are, we're streaming, we're live, uh, from SketchUp and we're going to do some modeling today. And so we have definitely leaned into May 4th on this channel. Um, we just create a playlist of all the Star Wars models we've done over the years. There's quite a few, I think there's like nine or 10 live streams that are just Star Wars related models and rendering and stuff. Uh, but I think I did a Death Star as like a 20 second model to show how <laughs> quick it should be to do a Death Star. Ah, with all the, yeah, the chunks, the chunks missing. Um, so yeah, so this particular year, May 4th falls not on a weekend or a Friday, but between. So we figured that was a sign from the force that what we should do is do a modeling session before the 4th and then immediately after the 4th, we do a, uh, Well, how about that? Um, really? Say something again. <laughs> oh, you know, he had some really insightful, very intelligent things to say, guys. I am so sorry you missed out on it. Um, uh, oh, yep, I see the problem. I added you, I added your audio to the next scene we go to, but not this one. One moment, please. I was just going to say, Jody, fill them in with some Star Wars facts while I fix this audio issue, but that's not going to work. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, welcome. Welcome to the show, Jody. Am I really here? You're really here. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad that I'm just happy that they cared. That's, That's all. they called yeah. it out. Ah, thanks, guys. Um, yeah, he's here. He's been here the whole time. He was just talking to me and not you guys. I, I don't know. He said some things that he got some stuff off his chest about how he feels about y'all. But yeah, stuff I may regret saying later. But you know, we'll try this again. Hey, hey welcome, Jody. <laughs> Yay! Uh, what was I going to say? I don't even remember what I was going to say now. You say something so I can respond to it. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. You were going to do the Death Star. You were talking about the Death Star. Yeah. Death Star is pretty easy. Yeah. It's it's a two circle solid. Subtract one from the other and you got a Death Star. I mean, come on. That's fair. Um, That's fair. So, That's yeah. But done. We're going to do some May the 4th modeling. So our, this is not a two-part session, but we're just doubling up on sessions. Today, we're going to do some modeling. We're going to model an ATST from Empire Strikes Back, which is going to be a fun, fun model to do. And then next week, Eric Sargent, who's actually in the chat, uh, so he'll be following along, making sure I don't commit him to anything that he can't, you know, follow up on, is going to be taking this model we create this week and putting it into a scene and, and rendering it out. It's going to be, it's going to be pretty cool. I, uh, I want it to be put into a proper, like, modern day... You, like earth scene, right? Like traipsing through the middle of Seattle, Washington or something like that. Walking down main street. Yeah. <laughs> no. Hey, uh, yeah. Maybe if you, uh, you, you prod Eric enough, he'll get that. So real quick. Hello. Hello, everybody. We got people dialing all up. We got people coming in YouTube, uh, LinkedIn, Facebook. Uh, yeah. Saying hi from all over the place. Uh, got some, hold on. That was French. So I'm assuming that bonjour is from France. 
but uh, or Kazakhstan. It, that could be France. Uh, Syria, Vancouver Island, uh, Borneo, Southern California. So yeah, there's. It's awesome. It's it's always so cool to see all you guys from all over the world hanging out, chiming in. Very very cool. Thanks for hanging out with us. Um, yeah. I, we, I mean, I'm burning valuable modeling time right now. We're five minutes in. I haven't done anything. <laughs> that's, that's how confident you are in your ability to model this quickly and efficiently. It's just like down to the wire. It's good showmanship right there. That's something. It, it's definitely something. I don't know if it's good or bad. Let's let's hop over. All right. So this is the scene that I did actually add Jody to. So you should be able to hear him here. Uh, I guess I guess now's now's the chance. Now's yeah. now's a chance to break it again. There we go. Okay. Still here. All right. So we're just going to, I'm just going to hop right in. So I got, I downloaded an image from the internet. I'm going to go ahead and import it. I'm just going to import it and slap it right down on the ground. We've done this before where I've done watermarks up in the corner, or we've done uh, some stuff where we do photo match, that kind of thing. Since this is really more of an illustrated plan, uh, it makes the most sense to just drop it on the ground and work from that. So I'm just going to import this. It's a PNG. I'm importing it as an image. Say import, and I'm going to drop it here at the origin and just make it nice and big. Uh, I'm going to make it about the right size to line up with Heather there, somewhere around there. That seems like about, about right. All right, so there's not dimensions on here. Uh, I can't even say for sure if these are straight lines or anything like that, but uh, we're going to work with this and use this as a reference. So this is something we talk about a lot too is um modeling to the uh you know the level of detail you need for something uh and we talk about this a lot too what i want to do is i want to start with the broad shapes right i want to make the big chunks i want to make the head the hips the legs the feet make those different those different pieces uh and just rough them in real quick right now so maybe like half an hour or so just get the the roughed in shapes and then come back through and then start like adding detail to it. Um, yeah, so first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna get this straight on my screen. So the longest straight line I can see is right here. It goes from here, I go straight up. I'm pretty close to straight actually. That's This really didn't look much different than whenever we try and do the mechanical drawings. Yeah. It's just that it's written in different units because galaxy far far away they didn't have numbers that's right standard is that that they call isn't the language they speak standard or something like that <laughs> standard and the units of measure are standard units I like that probably probably so if i grab that now so just drew a line across the image and then rotate that so it snapped to a vertical surface or to to the to my my uh so here you can see you can see right here so i'm still this side of the origin and as it comes up see how that green line cuts in so my image wasn't quite straight so it's straighter now i can check this direction too just roughly draw a line across here and see if it hits their feet it doesn't it doesn't come close oh because they don't line up those two feet oh line yeah up. it's 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 hips dislocated maybe it's it's got some like camber so that if it ever ends up off off center yeah. or something like that it can recover that's There's, probably i'm sure that's yeah. what it is gyroscopes and stuff yeah it's it's walks on uneven anyhow so yeah this is telling me something right off the bat though this is telling me that i do not have an awesome set of plans so that's good to note because uh while i can reference these plans i do want to know that you know stuff might not exactly be straight or line up perfect from here but that's going to be okay because I'm going to model these pieces and put them together myself. That's all right. I just need reference. So um, the head is kind of a weird shape. So I'd see from the back, it kind of goes like this. It doesn't go, it doesn't, it's not straight. From the side here, the front and the back are, it's kind of like a trapezoid kind of shape. There's nothing, nothing square. That might be 90 degrees, but most of this is not square. And then from the front, you can see the face actually kind of has two planes. So it's got a flat place on the flat plane on the front. It starts to slope back and then kind of has two different this this panel and this panel actually 
angle against each other. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I have no idea how to do this. This is going to be a good time. Um, I'm thinking, here's what I'm thinking. Let me, let me think out loud at you. I think I'm going to change. Oh, that is, that is 90 degrees. So that's, that's cool. I got a 90 degrees going there. I'm going to do this, 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 maybe something like that. Run that one a little long and then grab this point, take it straight across. All right. So I'm going to start with that shape. I'm going to take that and just give it some depth. And I'm just going to make that a group. I'm just making it a group right now because this won't actually be a component. Once I get my final shape, I'll make it a component, name it, that kind of thing. But right now, uh, yeah, this is this is just a chunk. I don't, I don't really want to do anything beyond that. All right. Now, let's see, where do we go from here? I guess it's it funny makes how... Sense. Mm -hmm. Just that one single piece of geometry, you can immediately tell what it is. Yeah, it's, it's very distinct. Yeah. All right, so kind of thinking what I'll do is I'll do that, and then I'm going to put a line right down the middle. This is symmetrical, so I don't want to do this twice. So start here, here. Really hard to tell what happens right in there. Yeah, this um, is kind of a. I, I really wonder about the the engineers that are on on staff for the Empire. I feel like a lot of these things, like they don't really form. Definitely matters over function, and form is always a little weird. Like, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm just gonna be honest and say that uh, I don't really think that bipedal is necessarily the best way to uh to move around you know mm -mm. and those those big discs dishes for feet yeah there's know, definitely... if if, looking at the boston dynamics they get they have much better feet for getting that thing around all right so i got half a face here just gonna make a copy of it flip it over like that all right uh, I'm going to make a new group out of that. All right. Now, here's kind of what I'm thinking. I'll take a book from, or a, a page from the book of Tyson. I harass him about it, but occasionally he's got some good ideas going on there. I'm going to copy some stuff over here, work in a sandbox, and then bring it back over when I'm ready. So, uh, let's get this rotated upwards. I have to say that the the lag between watching you do model in one screen versus what the rest of the world sees it keeps it's messing with my brain. I keep I keep thinking, what do you didn't you already do that? <laughs> well, I, I don't want to I don't want to ruin this for anybody, but there are occasions where I uh, I do end up having to do things more than once. Like say model the entire cathedral of Notre Dame for example like that that's almost like a um, i mean i don't want to say you should save now i do see it's still called an untitled which suggests that maybe you should but that's a super plan <laughs> oh yeah let's do that well paul's paul's calling me out that boston dynamics has only been making stuff for like 20 years whereas the empire has been making things for <clears throat> well Okay, I'm going to counterpoint that because a long time ago the Empire made stuff, but what happened to the Empire? Boston Dynamics is yeah. still around, so that's that's probably a valid point. All right, so so what I got is I got my outline here. So I didn't again because I don't have and I, I this as far as I can tell, this is just some fan made imagery too. So this is you know. Somewhere there's actual real measurements of this thing, I'm sure. But uh, we're working off some some re referenced imagery here. Um, so I will be doing some of this stuff, a little bit of a grain of salt. But um, I didn't create like 
sometimes with when we have these left and right side images, we can create you know a, a solid that extrudes one way, a solid that extrudes the other way, cross them over, and then uh, create a, a solid in the middle where they lap. Um, I didn't do that in this case. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use these these two surfaces kind of to, to trace. So I'm going to grab a line, pull it from there to there, line from here to here. And over here, we'll go down like that. Here, we'll go down like that. Um, and then from... Looks like looks like Tyson's made it here today. Hey. And they're drop, dropping wisdom. Wisdom or dissing? Which one's? Uh, I'm scrolling back up. No, he he hasn't done anything other than make happy faces. Okay. That I've seen. Right, what, can right. you, what can you do? I'm gonna temporarily hide these two faces that I pulled out. Like this and this, which should give me a face. Did not give me a face. Let me find out why. Whoa. Nothing, nothing straight. Oh, because I just arbitrarily how, pulled these down in length. Okay, that's what yeah. I'm like how how bad could the source drawing be if the drawings you're doing is, are not even straight? Yeah, blame it on that. Like that. Oops, I'm getting a little click happy here. Slow your roll, buddy. Okay, that'll work. All right, uh, I'm gonna explode this. That's going to get rid of some geometry for me. Um, okay, so. There's a lot of com comment on the, uh, the Tyson boneyard technique. That's right. I don't, know if, I don't know if you caught that, but I'm I've been inspired. So this part I'll bring out. Yeah, we'll go parallel to that right now. This I put that. Did you have any of these toys when you were a kid? Any of the uh, none, none of the big ones, none of the, ones. the really cool ones, you know? Yeah, I was totally spoiled. I had, well, I had an AT AT, but I didn't have an AT set. And I had the Death Star, but that really wouldn't that big. Is you know cardboard little had a little like, little cardboard sleeve that goes along the back edge. But the most notable thing was it had a trap door so that your action figure could then fall into the trash compactor. Which should be a priority. Very fun. So I'm just creating a bunch of uh, throwaway surfaces just so I can see the intersection of these edges. There we go. Let's see how that lines up. Um, I always wonder, I'm like, deal was no, that's still not that's still not right all right i'm just gonna let's stop let's stop messing around here uh i just need to get a cutting plane here so i was, I was trying to trying to be fancy i'm not gonna be fancy anymore uh i'm just gonna do this there's brute force it yeah let's take this line down a little further I'll just take this line and copy it. Run a little long there. There we go. And then they just take this intersect face with model. And now I can break that out. So this is just get again, I'm just getting my rough, my rough shape to begin with. So yeah, this, this technique off. is working a lot better. Yeah. Now uh, sometimes I try, sometimes I try to think of like, would be a clever fun way to do that and then i forget that like <laughs> uh maybe if i could just do it in two minutes and be done that would probably be the cleverest yeah that's the story of like pretty much every project i ever do hmm <laughs> how could i spend an extra two hours trying to speed up this process that's right yeah but it's a hobby so it's okay all right same thing to cut it in half i'm just gonna say intersect face with model i'm just gonna get rid of the other half of the whole thing I grab 
grab all of this, hit my flip button. All right. So you've completely you completely made peace with the whole uh the new flip behavior. Oh man. Just now I don't even remember so how the old one works. Work nice. <laughs> no, no. My issue, my issue with the old one, and anybody who's watched knows this, is that I struggled so hard with the flip along because I could never remember. Oh yeah, flip no, it was always red or gr it's. Yeah. yeah, it was always a it was a it was always a two, a two move process for me. At oh, least. that's not the right way. Now we'll do the other way. Yeah, it's three steps. It was. Flip along red, undo, flip along green. That's how you do a flip with the old old command. Now I got a visual reference. Grab this thing, drop it here, flip. So Paul said he's not convinced that uh, that the new flip is any faster than the negative one technique, which I guess that's one of the beauties of SketchUp is there's multiple ways to do it. Skin the proverbial cat. So the nice thing, I, and I'm not going to argue with you. You like scale negative one. I use that for decade and a half it's awesome the thing where it's quicker is making copies because with scale to negative one you have to select something modify or move to make a copy drop it over here then select it scale move negative one with this if i want to just like i did make the other copy i select it scale modifier key drag and release so i you you do you I'm not telling you you're you're wrong just, just saying that's an option. All right. Um, I'm going to make a thing here. Uh, this whole deal back here has got lots of stuff going on. Do you what do you reckon that thing is? Is that you think it's just a battery? Gives it the the go juice? I don't know. It's it's got uh it's got some cool looking uh, exhaust port things here, so whoops. Uh could be. Could could very well be. Because the guns are actually up on the head. Right. The head, right? I mean you ought to, that's you immediately this obviously a head and legs, right? This is very much anthropomorphized. Oh yeah, I'm I'm perfectly fine talking about this like it's a. <laughs> Keggy said it looks like a V12 engine. I like the idea of that. All right, so there's a shape. Um, let's see. This thing is about this many standard galactic units wide. Ooh, I could get behind this. Put that right there. Pull that up to there. All right. Jesus, this is this is kind of turning into a who's who of of uh, of YouTubers. Got Justin in in the crowd as well. Whoa. Well, hey, happy uh, happy Star Wars Day to y'all. April the twenty eighth be with you yeah i guess it doesn't roll off the tongue like it should mm. you know who's who am i to judge i you're you're pretty good at judging I, no I, that's true all right i'll own it Oops. all right so i'm gonna get us i want to take a circle i want to reference this plane i want to come off the midpoint of that line i just drew I'm going to do that. Now I'm going to have to draw some extra lines like this. Oops. Where's my axis? There we go. You know, that's that's a question I hear often. Um, I didn't I didn't hear the question. Sorry, I, I, maybe okay. I wasn't paying attention. Probably, probably not. Um, I was having a hard time getting my inference to show up there. I wanted the inference to be, uh, blue, but I couldn't get it here. Uh, 
The way SketchUp inferences, those of you who are not aware, uh, it does change depending on where your camera's at, so what it can see. So there are, there's a good chance that if you can't get something to reference the way you want, you might just have to like look somewhere else. Nice, wow, deep, yeah. deep words, deep thoughts. All right, I'm gonna take, huh. That didn't quite do what I wanted it to. Let's see, if I go from here, so I'm gonna lock to this inference on this plane and then come over here, grab this line and draw that circle like that. And then I can take, grab that, make it a group. And then I will move it vertically to the center of this existing. So what I'm seeing here, right, is I can bring this up like this. And then what I think I could do is I want to center to center. Take all I want to I want to have that top circle match this offset circle above. See because it kind of it does this weird like It's not it's not straight it's not this this is kind of slightly off so what i can do is when i try to scale this i get this right because it's offset it's off axis so this is a spot where what i would do is i would come in here grab my axes click here click here twice and now when i scale this i'm back to uh, being flat on the surface. So I can do stuff like this. And that gets me my, my off-center cone. Okay, and then what I got is a little bit of a... No. Just knock that. Knock that corner off just ever so slight. Oh boy! Whoa! That's exciting. Fun. <laughs> All right, I got to I got to cover up that window again. I'm looking at you, uh, looking at past Aaron things. It's confusing me. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. All right, and I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna push pull that up again. I'm gonna grab this, scale it out, out the center. Get one last push up. I'm gonna grab that and scale that down. Might be too. That's just gonna get buried in the neck. But that gives me like this approximate shape of this this hip chunk, chunky chunk here. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put my axes back by right clicking on the axes and say. Uh, reset. I'll put my axis back at the corner. And now I can grab all of this. Explode this. Grab all that. Make a group. And then should be able to do from there. Take that, rotate it. I grab it by the center. Stick the center right at the center of this. And then line it up. It's a ways back. Down. So there's a little cleanup I can do on there for sure. But uh, again, broad strokes. I could round these corners off. I could clean that up a little bit. Actually, this is bothering me a little bit. I'm going to make this. I don't. Access. I don't feel like they they chamfered things in a galaxy far, far away. No, you know the big thing that I notice when I watch Star Wars movies now is uh, the Empire does not care about safety at all. There's not a guardrail <laughs> I know. anywhere in any uh, very very survival any building they created. Yeah, man, rough. It is rough to work for the Empire. 
Um, you know, I want to I want to ask questions, Mandalorian related questions, but I feel like probably there's a good chance that everybody's not caught up. Well, I mean, I feel like at this point we got three seasons. Is it yeah, safe no, to talk I know, about the I first two? I wanted to talk specifically about Moff Gideon. Oh, so I thought you were going to talk about how there's an ATST in season one of the Mandalorian. Let's see. What was in my, in my mind's eye? I only ever see the ATST on uh, indoor. So it was Wait. it was the krill farmers. Remember those guys? Yeah. They they made a living scooping blue shrimp out of a river. Um those guys. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The yeah. first time he took his helmet off. When when he said all creepily watching people from yeah, inside was his hut. <laughs> he was like, uh just hear him breathing. I'm not comfortable with whatever's happening right now. Um yeah, that one the the bad guys had an ATST, which Kind of cracked me up because, you know, they had the, what's your name, the shock trooper there, and then they're like, oh, there's no way we can take down an ATST on our own. Like what? Ewoks did it with logs. Yeah. Which is a compl complete different segue, right, into the MythBusters. Yes. Because MythBusters tested that. It's really hard to get two logs that big, I and think. then get them lined up perfectly, and then have them swing together shut like a. Just in a perfect pair. It's, it's tricky business. I I think that uh, Ewoks were underrated for their engineer engineering prowess. Yeah, they were a little. They're a little. Uh, dare I say, badasser. <laughs> they got credit for. That's when you look like a teddy bear. People sell you short. It's true. It's true. I think I read that originally that that was going to be Wookies, but. Lucas wanted a Wookiee so bad. He's like, well, I got to bring Wookiee into the first movie just in case I don't get to make another movie. Ah. So that was probably on the... Back whenever I would have found that out, it would have been having to buy the set that think it's an extra VHS that has secrets on it or something. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So I'm making some stuff up here. Making some geometry up. Nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. When was the last time you uh, hit Alt S? Right now. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Crazy. Some would say cheating. All right. All right. So I'm going to. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna call it my upper leg. Oh, a thigh. You might even call it a thigh or a femur. Oh, it's in a biology femur? class, buddy. So now, oh, I'm sorry. Right. So I made. I just, little... I just <laughs> want to be technically accurate. I made That's a component kind of <laughs> so that I can bring this over here. Uh, wing it. That. And then I can put this geometry on it. And because it's a component, uh, I'll get a copy. So this is the thing I notice I do a lot. Wait a minute. Wait, I'm in the wrong group. Dang it. Don't. Hold on. And X that thing. Get rid of that. Edit. Paste in place. Boom. That's what I need. All right, I'm going to grab this face. Option copy down to here because I'm assuming it's the same on both sides. Bring that up. And again, because it's a component, I can always come over. Can I make it a component? 
I thought you did. You know what? You, I heard you say the words, I make it a component, so that I. So I just assumed that, that meant that you did. Yeah. Sometimes I say things and apparently, I don't know. All right. Make component. Often I just think thigh. a thing and then I just presume. There we go. Let's try that again. Option copy that right over here. And then let's tip that right back up. All right, so there we go. That's the stuff. Okay, cool. Um, now I'm going to come in here. Again, roughing in shapes. I'm already being a little more detailed than I was planning to be. Let's see. It'll be okay. That, pull that out to here. Double click. I was actually thinking about breaking this apart into uh, a couple different pieces too, just so this would be easier, but I didn't do that. Well, you know, it's a thought that counts. Yeah, I thought about it. It's true. Ooh, ooh, check this out. Draw a line right here. Yeah, With yeah. This highlighted, I will say flip, grab that blue, drag it over to the middle right here, hit my modifier key, and I got two of those. X ray. I seriously can't tell what I'm looking at. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's that feels like the, the story of my life, watching you model. I have, I have no idea what you're doing right now. <laughs> okay, so uh, here's what I'm going to do. Turn X-ray off. I, I like X-ray in some cases, but a lot of times it does make it harder to see what I'm looking at. So it looks like what happens, and I am getting too much detail here. This looks, this this odd shape right here, right there is... This piece right here, and then this piece right here is what I got popping up right here. So I think what I want to do is draw this out of context. This, I'm just gonna, gonna get a plane. Make this, make that. Copy that right over her. This is not this this is not feeling like the broad strokes you are so boldly proclaiming. No, I'm I'm really getting into beginning. details again. <laughs> Dang it! I but that's you know I, I don't I don't like to I, you know make excuses, but that does feel kind of on brand. Kind of yeah. Well, I, I feel like probably the knees, the articulation, you got to be a little more a little more precise. Yeah, because one of the things I do want to try to do with this is I want this thing to uh, be posable for Eric. So I do want to... Oh, that's important. Yeah, I want him to be able to take this and uh, move, move pieces around as he needs in order to make uh, the scene he wants to make. All right, so I'm going to take that shape, give it some depth. Make this a group. Make this a group. Let's see right there. Donovan showed up and thinks that we should have really have some Star Wars ambient music playing in the background. What, and have Disney after us for copyright violation, you crazy man? It's funny, we, we were actually just talking about that beforehand. How how it's, how you go into like, uh, I don't know, YouTube. I see this on YouTube all the time, where you go in and somebody's doing a... Uh, you know, a Disney related project or something along those lines. 
and you hear that almost recognizable but not quite right music happening you know like the da 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 like it's just <laughs> It Every time you do it, correct, yeah. It doesn't quite line up that that royalty free version of the Imperial March. All right, that gave me what I wanted. That is exactly what I was looking for. Cool. Whoa. I know. I'm. I blew that. I blew that whole. Uh, let's. Uh, Stay you know, high level. So I'm just I'm just having this realization while I'm looking at this. And I like I consider anytime I try and assemble something, like an, if I'm doing a woodworking project, mm -hmm. um assembling stuff can be a challenge. And this seems like it would be ridiculous to try and put together. Like it's that full scale. How much does one of these legs weigh? You're yeah. to be the guy that's got, got to be like, we gotta we gotta stand those, we gotta mount those knees together. All right, well, good luck with that. Uh, I'm on break. I gotta go. Yes, that would be that would be violent. All right. So. Um. Yeah, there's some weird stuff happening too because as I'm doing this, I'm like, that can't line up. A stitch real quick. This is where I need some ambient Star Wars music. Whilst whilst I stitch. Oh yeah, there needs to be like a Star Wars version of the uh, the little old lady from Impanima or whatever it's called. <laughs> or when we play it back, what's the uh, what's the Imperial version of the Benny Hill song? <laughs> yes. See, that's that's what that is what AI would be for. Would be <laughs> you go in and you say create a Benny Hill version of that's right Boom. Darth Vader's as Benny composed Hill, by John Williams I like that we come in here and solve real world problems <laughs> that's right using this well AI we at stuff. least come up with ideas for it's we it's it's all up to someone else to implement that's true years ago there was a a band that I was a big fan of uh which was Richard Cheese, the album was Lounge Against the Machine, and he basically would take all of these uh, contemporary songs from sort of, they, you know, stuff, songs from the 90s, and they're all done in a lounge theme. And now I want something that is just uh, in, the, in the style of John Williams. Or John Will Williams doing something in someone else's style. Yeah, that. Like that. That. All right, I'm going to call this what I'm looking for. I'm going to, I'm going to stop put, I'm going to stop putting detail on my high level model that I keep talking about. <laughs> uh. Aaron, Aaron, it's 10 till 10 till 2. What's up? You're still working oh, on the I've same I've almost knee. got that knee done. All right, I did that to get this group right here. Um, I'm going to hide that. That. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Whoop, that that line needs to be there apparently. I do not know why. Oh, that's a separate group. Okay. Let's get rid of all that. Um, I don't think they need that to be an extra. All right, and then we'll say uh, edit, paste in place. I did something wrong because it all should have come back. You know what I need to do? I need to stick this on its own layer. I 
This is usually something I try to do at the beginning, but then sometimes don't. I'm going to create a new REF tag. I'm going to grab this, throw that on REF, and there we go. Yeah, so, all right, edit, paste in place. There we go. It's all back. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. So I'm going to move that down to the bottom here. And then flip along my blue backwards. Oops, that's not right. That's easy to fix. Boom. Whoa, that's exactly that's three feet. What are the odds of that? No, this, this only has two feet. The AT-AT has four feet. Why didn't they make a three foot? A three foot, an at something. They, they, uh, they made six six legged things in Clone Wars. That's true. It's true. Nothing to do with your question, but there's a little knowledge I dropped. I appreciate, appreciate your knowledge. Thanks. All right. So that gives us one piece of leg. And as I was saying, what, one of the things I want to do for Eric uh, is give him the ability to pose this thing. Um, and I want to do that by creating each of these segments of the legs as separate pieces and then giving him some joints that he can, can uh, manipulate them through. Um, so let's, uh, let's, let's do this next chunk less detail shall we aaron that's what a great idea that guy man Back. broad strokes broad strokes deetson i really don't know what's happening Place right it. here though this, this, this is crazy it's just blurry but you just apply texture to that it's oh, fine Circle about in the middle. Okay. Wait a minute. If this is the thigh, then what is this? Uh oh. Yeah, that's kind of weird, right? There's three different, there's two pivot points. Kind of like a dog okay, leg, so right? They, so the foot is just like your toe bending at the ball of your foot. And then that goes up to your heel right there. So you're saying this is the this is the calf right here. This is I, I don't know. All right. I'm gonna just call it an upper thigh. I don't have time for this. <laughs> All right, we'll take that. And Brad said you need a paste in place keyboard shortcut to say in. I think I, I used to. You know what? I did. I used to have that. And uh, I haven't reestablished that in, in my newer version of uh, SketchUp. All right, so this guy is really relatively thin. Why, why did I do this again? <laughs> what, what do I got against <laughs> rotating 90 degrees? Uh, that's close you're enough. Just, you're just being too artistic. I, I don't, you know, I don't think I've had seen this question in a while. Uh, Janice is wondering if you think the space mouse is worth it to speed up the modeling process. You never I, talk about. I can't think of the last time I've, I've I've seen someone even ask. It's been a while, absolutely. Um, I do. I I mean, there's a caveat there though. I will I will say, and I I try to be very very honest about this. Uh, when you first get a space mouse, it is not quick. It slows you down. It does take more work to get modeling done. Um, but eventually, yes, you get to the point where it is quicker for sure. Uh, and presentation wise, uh, 
uh, I have a hard time thinking of comparing. Oops, that's very disorienting. Um, yeah, I can't imagine doing the, the amount of presenting I do with just mouse scrolling. There's of course nothing wrong with mouse scrolling. That's that's you know what SketchUp. <laughs> no hate is. on you scrollers out there. Yeah, no, this, this, you know, that's, this is how, that's how SketchUp was created to be used. Uh, but having said that, if, if I was doing this all the time, uh, as opposed to, you know, this, I think this tends to be just more palatable, especially for somebody who's not familiar with SketchUp. Um, okay. So I got, I got two pieces. I got an upper thigh and I got a thigh thigh. Uh, let's, so, uh, let's, do, let's do some cats. Lawrence, Lawrence managed to bring a dad joke to make it even topical. You want to hear a joke? I, oh, you might even see it do I ever not want to hear a dad joke? Yeah. How do you get down from an ATST? You don't. You get down from a goose. Oh, that was good. That was really but I'm... Um, Thank you. Thank you, Lawrence. I liked it. I liked it. I like those multi-purpose dad jokes where you can just, uh, you know, wire them into whatever you got going on. That's, yeah. that's Any, anything that's long or tall or whatever. Ladders, fire trucks. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Eric's out here trying to be educational too, asking if everybody knows what ATSD stands for. Of course I do. What do you think it stands for? Well, Keggy already said. Now you say, and I'll tell you if you're as right as Keggy was. It's the attempt. <laughs> okay, no clue. I have no idea. I don't know what it is. The all-terrain scout transport. So scout means I was prepared. you just got two dudes in there as opposed to the yeah. ATAT, which is all-terrain all -terrain attack transport? Uh, something transport. Uh, assault attack. That sounds good. Cause it's got light lasers and stuff. I don't know. Yeah. 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 I remember watching empire strikes back and just thinking that seems stupid to take all this stuff and put it up high on like 25 foot <laughs> tall legs that are only this thick. I, I just remember as a child going, it seems like a poor design. Empire. <laughs> As a child, you are more intelligent than the Empire designers. But I'll give them this. It looked cool. It looked very, very cool. All right. Keggy is coming in clutch. He said it's the all-terrain armored transport. Dang. Uh, all right. Keggy, I need, I need honesty from you right now. Do you know this or do you just have Wikipedia up? <laughs> yeah. No judging. I'm just curious because like... Some people got this kind of stuff on lock. I don't, but uh, I'm just curious. Just wondering. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what we'll see what the response is in 30 seconds. <laughs> he says, I know these, unfortunately. That's good. That's cool. You know, I'm I'm all about owning up to being a nerd. Mm -hmm. I uh there was a time where that was not cool, but now, like, you can play Dungeons and Dragons, and you can true. be into all the all the sci-fi you want, comic books. What? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's a good. It's a good time to be honest about nerdy nerdery. Yeah. All those all those decades of comic reading didn't need to be shamed after all. Finally, you're experiencing some com experiencing some comic relief. Just hey -oh. can't even help himself. Just it just happens. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. I mean, I almost stumbled over it because I had to get it out so fast. I was just like, I gotta say this. Oh wait, 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 guys, <laughs> guys. Hold up. <laughs> All right, to do these stupid, stupid feet. Uh, I'm gonna see if wait, I can. Wait a minute. I recognize that foot. That is the top half of the weird little robot that is in the prequels. BB-8? 
No, the guy that was like uh, BBA wasn't in a pre. Oh yeah, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. In a no, he's in, he's in the post. No, there's post-quals. the post wall. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Uh, All right, this didn't work. I don't know what the things were called, but I know that uh, little Anakin had access to one. Like you, know, they were like the little guys that worked on his stuff. Oh, the I think pit, they're also the also studying droids? Mandalorian. Yeah. All right, so so this didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Um, I thought I could squish a circle down, but that's not it. This is actually the chunk of a larger circle, I think. So, uh, you know, let's do this. Let's do throw an arc on here. That actually needs to scale in just a touch. There we go. I can grab. Okay, so now I got to go find this. So Laura over on Facebook said that there is a Goonies Dungeons and Dragons board game, and now, now I got to find. I've got to find this thing and and make it, make it mine. A valid reason oh, yeah. to, uh, yeah. One more time. Goonies, Dungeons and Dragons, isn't that just Stranger Things? <laughs> Basically, it is. It's mostly Goonies, I think, and then it's got some stuff that makes it D and D esque. Like it's all happening. It's all Winter Underground. Looking at the map. Yeah, Goonies is up there. Curious. In my uh, my list of '80s content as being just you know. One oh of yeah, those... that's peak '80s. Yeah. Uh, Donovan said yes. It is Stranger Things. Yeah. Nailed it. There's the toe. I'm gonna make that into another component. Let's call it the toe. Grab that. Put it up there. that up let's go to 90 degrees this time shall we shall we me wait no 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 don't do it don't ruin a perfectly good record <laughs> that in a thousand all right and then we'll try to try to figure out how wide that is because it does not look wide at all i thought it was wider than this but Yeah, I feel like, I mean, since you said toe, now I feel like that's really kind of what that little disc is missing. Is that is like good. Like you need you need multiple toes to so, help sort of stabilize your, your foot. Yeah, that's the way I was designed. I mean, if you're if you're going across the desert, then sure. And maybe maybe these were designed on a desert planet. I mean, we that's do true. know that there are several desert planets in a galaxy far, far away. Yeah, I don't know. Anybody got a good uh, ATST toe they could post on the forum? Take a look at that. <laughs> I don't love this. It looks weird. Yeah, give me your best toe photo. Peggy probably has it on his camera roll. You know, as I'm looking at these, <laughs> he probably does. Uh, I'm realizing it ATSTs kind of look like a, an oversized Ed 209. <laughs> Which Maybe inspiration? May or be, 
may or may not be a reference that people get, but if you get it, you get it. So I found, so I searched for ATSD feet, and the feet that I'm finding are, well, mostly um, Lego, Lego feet. Yeah, that does not always help. No. All right. Okay. Um, Here, I'm post. I'm posting right now. One I... foot. Well, two feet, technically. There you go. Oh, yeah, that's not too far off, actually. That's uh, there's definitely a little more detail in there than what I got, but we're, we're at step one. All right, I'm going to try and make these a quick solid. So I'm going to use a uh, solid inspector, which is an extension if you don't already have it. A uh, great tool for cleaning up solids so you can do things like grab these, hit tools, and then union them. All right, we're going to make this into a component. I'm going to call this the foot. So apparently Lawrence is now out there hanging out on the Wikipedia because now he's just dropping what the other acronyms are. The TIE in TIE Fighter is the twin ion engine. That makes a lot of sense. I mean, sure. I mean, sure. I don't... It feels like it's kind of science words. They're just like, here's some science words. Yeah. Here, drop this down. So where should I grab? It? I'll grab it right here. Move it vertically so it lines up with the middle of that foot. Mmm. Mmm. Looks like it should go there, but it goes up here. Yeah, then I have little little circle dealies show up. Circle dealies, also known as circles. Well, you know that works too. I like it. I will refer to SketchUp circles as circle dealies because they're they're not quite circles. They're multi sided polygons, ingons, ingons. Is that the proper use of an ingon? I don't know. It would be an ingon. Yes. Not quad. What, what is what is? Oh, Just drop that on the other side. Let me get in the same depth that much ish. No. You never really get to see the bottom of these. Do you think that it's solid, or do you think it's got some sort of something to make it a little grippy? Um, they just use, uh, Ewok hide under there. The fresher, the better. Stomp through that. There you go. That's All, right. Almost right there. All right. Um, I'm gonna do this. Drop a line straight down there. And then maybe like. Well, we just had a had a couple more people, someone on LinkedIn and on YouTube, both asking about the the space mouse. Ah. So apparently, apparently today is the day for people to be newly introduced to the, the space mouse. You know, it's, that's uh, that's cool because I think it's been you know we don't we don't really uh, talk about it as much as we used to. Mm -mm. The good old days. Um, so yeah, so this thing in my left hand, as it's often referred to, is what's called a Space Mouse. Specifically, this is the Space Mouse Enterprise from the company 3D Connection. Uh, it is a tool that allows you to move your 3D space without messing with your main input device, being the mouse right here. So what that means I can do is, while this is here in my hand, I can still move around in 3D using the puck over here. This is cool because it does a couple things. Um, normally in SketchUp, I zoom, which I, I, I don't want to disrespect the way SketchUp does zooming because this moving around with this little, just that middle uh, scroll wheel is super cool, super easy, quick. 
the way I can jump from orbit to zooming. I do love it. It is super easy to do. Uh, but with the space mouse, I don't have to do anything over here if I want to move around. Plus, I can make with practice, with a significant amount of practice, I can actually rotate around and move fairly smooth with just the space mouse. The other thing this lets me do is if I want to go, say I want to go, I don't know, clean up my UI over here, close these up while I'm moving around, I could do that because I have control of my mouse at the same time. Uh, the other thing that's nice about it is that the problem with space mouse is it takes your left hand off the keyboard and puts it over here. But depending on the version of the Space Mouse you get, like I said, this is called the Space Mouse Enterprise. It has dozens of programmable buttons. So I can, you know, toggle my, my go to different tools and uh, hit these different tools with the buttons on here because they're already programmed. Uh, really nice, nice way to do it. I even have like uh, my inferences, so my up, down, left, right are all programmed on here. So I can do that without having to take my hand off the mouse and hit them. So pretty cool tool, not required to use SketchUp by any means. You can absolutely use SketchUp. Millions and millions of people use Sketch Fair Day without them. But if you do a lot of design, you're looking for a way to get a little bit quicker, or you do a lot of presentation and want some nice smooth animation, it's worth checking out. I feel like you've gotten a lot more uh, conscientious of, of how, high, how heavily you praise it. <laughs> It's a great tool. I love it. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to try to pretend like I'm not. I'm not uh, fairly dependent upon it at this point. But uh, yeah, it's worth checking out. All right. Now back yeah. to our regularly scheduled program. One full leg. Uh, Boom. It's interesting. Does it just look weird because you've got the? The thing overlaying it, probably so. Like it looks, the left leg, its right leg looks different. You think the two legs are different from each other? Yeah, it could just be, okay, so my right eye is looking at your picture from five minutes ago, so. <laughs> uh, that I can't help you with. Okay, I think, I, think it'll be, I think it'll all be fine. It'll be fine in a minute. I'll just breathe. All right, we'll use this again and drag that to middle point right there. Oops, I didn't hit option. There we go. I feel pretty good about that right there. That looks very legit. You apply textures and no one would ever know that you hadn't modeled the rest of it. You don't need anything else. We'll call it. We'll call it an hour. <laughs> no, <laughs> let's get some detail in here. Um, oh, there's so many options, so many places we could dive into detail. I'm going to spend some time on the head. First thing, before I do that, though, I do, I do want to do something. Um, I'm going to take this model and I'm going to create a new tag. And I'm going to call it control points. Um, and I'm going to come into each of these groups. And I'm going to create an edge. This and a middle point. Right up with that. Take that edge and apply that to control points. I'm doing this because I want to be able to turn control points off. Because what, what I want to give Eric the ability to do is grab this head, for example, go and rotate, click right here, and be able to turn, turn the head while he's posing. What I don't want is I don't want these stupid lines in the way all the time, so I want to have them be able to be turned off. But I hope Eric is appreciating how much work you're putting into making this as sweet as possible for him. He better be. Um, <laughs> this this body part right here, the hips are. I need to make a new component. Um, let's make a component. Let's call it the hips. I'll be uh, right back. 
is going to be the center. So that's not going to have a control point because that'll be the part that stays where it is. Um, each of these other pieces, let's go ahead and grab this guy. Put a line going straight out like this. Grab that line. Put it on control points. This guy right here. Same thing. Center of this circle. Coming out the same amount. Grab that edge. Normally you put you keep all raw geometry on the main layer, but uh, this particular example, I'm going to break some rules. Grab this one right here. Draw another line. This line's a little weird because I want it to be at a spot I can't see. I want it to be halfway between those two points. Put on X-ray, get that center point. There we go. Drag my line out, same length, grab that edge, add it to control points. And then one last piece is this foot. Grab that, drag that line out right there. Oops, didn't put that in the group. Gotta get in context. Edge, put it on control points. All right. So what that means is I'm off, I'm off somewhere else. We'll fill out my water bottle, and I hear you say you want to put all of your raw geometry on the same layer. No oh, dollar in the jar. And then, and then, then you're like, I'm just gonna make mistakes. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you are, buddy. Come on, man. All right. Um, what this is gonna let me do is say I want to make it look like it's taken a step. I can come in and grab. These right here, rotate, we'll go to this point right here. So you're gonna come up a little like that. Deselect that, rotate that. Grab this guy, so rotate him. As I'm looking at this, this design and the specific poses you're doing, what I would really like to see with the animation is one of these guys doing like the little putting on the Ritz dance, like the little robot guy in the golden child. Like the little, little can. Yeah. That. There we go. So, and then when, when Eric has everything posed, he can just turn those lines off and they're not going to be in the way because they're components. I can still come in here and say, I want, you know, and put some detail in here. I'm going to go uh, offset this a couple of times. Push this back in. I don't know. I don't know what the detail actually looks like. I can still make changes to that, and because they're components, they're both going to be updated. But because I'm rotating the component from the outside, I'm not rotating the geometry on the inside. I'm just taking the container and moving it around. I don't have to worry about like messing stuff up that way. I could do that. I could do a couple couple more pieces. So if I wanted the legs to be able to like, you know, turn out this way or something like that, I could do another one vertically or something like that. But uh, yeah, that's that's going to give him basic posing abilities. Yeah, Eric wrote that down. Nice. Note written. All right. Um, all right, so we got 45 minutes to throw a little detail in here. He said, I really feel like I want to spend some time on the head here. Uh, I think this is pretty cool. But yeah, I would love to, to do this right. So... I'm going to grab this half of the head and delete it. I'm going to grab all of this, make a component, call it half head. And then, you know, I'm not, I, I know sometimes like people try to, let me show you the new stuff. Let me let it really sell it out or something like that. That's not my intention, but, uh, yeah, it just occurred to me. I'm really using, uh, that all new, the new all the new bells and whistles the new thing a whole lot the new the new yeah. hotness all right so i'm going to draw a couple edges here i'm going to come in here Let's see we'll come back like this Go back to here oops how did i get off what in the world? 
All right, let's stay on. The little blue, that little blue diamond under my my cursor tells me that I'm on base. Which I was right up to that last click. So good. A little blue diamond, Greedleys. That was that's the that's it's time for that word. Thanks, right. Ransom. Yes, the UI Greedly. All right, so that. See, this is so there's a thing I don't understand. So I can see the break, right? Because it goes like this, this. I can see that right here. But I don't get how these two panels cut to make that happen. Unless this one just pops out over top of this one. I guess that's possible. But uh, huh. I can't. All right. I'm not going to mess with that anymore, though. I'm just going to do this. Yeah. Just maybe like maybe you'll save them. Maybe, maybe now's a good time to save. Maybe we'll just have to wait and see. I don't, I can't. So I'm gonna do a little auto folding. I'm just gonna push some geometry around. And then what I can do nice. is just come in and smooth it. You're the, and bully. Now I got one panel. You're the bully of your model. Right. You're not the boss of me. Yeah, save. Well, all right, let's let's uh, let's put some cheeks on this thing. So it's got a, a circle chunk coming right out of the face and then cut into that. It looks like it's got a hexagon. So let's do this. Let's start with a circle in the middle. Draw a line straight across like that because it's not not super tall. Now train here. Uh, as far as overall height, uh, Keggy con conjured up the 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 size of like nine point zero four meters a long time ago. Mm. Was this like meters, meters, meters? How much that is in standard galactic units is really what I need to know. Exactly. Yeah. Meters it sounds like something from a different galaxy, far, far away, long time ago. I butchered that long ago. <laughs> Galaxy far, far away. All of the above. Galaxy long ago, far off in the future. That's that was always the, as a kid. That would that's what messed with me the most is they're like long ago. I'm like the spaceships. I it's know. Not long ago, obviously. This is confusing me a little bit too, but uh, I'm just gonna roll with it. Circle. All right. This shows a hexagon very clearly here, but over here it looks like it's rounded. So, come on, Lucas. Oops, what are you doing down there? Do you think, I mean, I guess maybe it's proof that it was long ago is like, if you notice, there's really not any colors. They didn't use colors for anything. It's maybe in the galaxy far, far away, long ago, they like blue didn't exist. That's possible. Well, I, I do remember George Lucas talking about, uh, know how in the original trilogy everything's very utilitarian and uh well yeah, it's very yeah deliberate in its its starkness uh, monochromatic theme yeah right. uh, it's just not lining up the way i wanted to line up he, he never really explains why he thinks it's a great idea to put everybody in put helmets on everybody so that they can't even see what they're doing well, he did have enough sense of humor to. Oh wait, this is. Is that? Sorry, I drew this not aligned. There we go. My segments weren't lining up. 
Uh, I did think it was funny that he went into that, whatever it was, the 99 release and added that dunk noise when the stormtrooper hit his head on the door frame. Uh, it's, always, it's always nice to hear someone clonk their head. My, so I don't remember where we were, we were watching something recently and they used the Wilhelm scream in it. And my daughter just threw up her hand. She's like, oh my God, I am out of here. So apparently the youths today have disdain for the uh, the Wilhelm scream. That's too bad. It's a good scream. I know, what? It's a good scream. Yeah, it's classic. All right. So Breaks break some edges here, so uh well okay. So it. Donovan also has disdain for the Wilhelm scream. And Eric says that he hears it pretty much every time he watches an episode of The Simpsons. That's true. I have heard that uh Matt Groening's a fan. And Donovan is not. So I guess Donovan will not be guest directing any upcoming episodes of The Simpsons. I guess that's safe. That's safe to say. Uh, all right. Let's. What am I doing here? Let's make this solid. Uh, so. Speaking of Star Wars stuff, there is a new show coming out. Anybody's particularly excited about that? New show? What show? Ahsoka. So I don't think it's so. I saw like I saw a big map of all the things, and I don't think that's going to be here till like August or something really long really Wait, far so not, away not well hey that's on brand it's true it's, but also not long ago because it's long it's negative long ago is that is that appropriate use of that in the near future not so far far away yes maybe lord said that someone found the original recording of them getting the wilhelm scream recently just some dude right some dude named wilhelm i'm pretty sure that was his name i don't i don't feel like he was a noted screamer of his time or anything so yeah just some dude not a not a professional screamer hey yeah nowadays whatever yeah screamers left and right but uh, back then that was a deal that was a thing That was a thing. All right. So some more like identifiable marks here. We got the little. Wait, hold on. I use a twin blaster cannon assembly here in the mouth. But uh, these eyes and then this trap door on the top, those, those feel like important pieces. Uh, so something here. Definitely need the, the trap door on the top because otherwise, how is uh, how are Chewie and Han going to sneak in? Valid point. Sneak? No, it was Chewie and an Ewok because Han was. Oh, was it? Han was by the oh, yeah, door right. with Leia. That's right. He was down there distracting him. Mm -hmm. All right, this is looking. This is looking pretty legit. Let's 
We should do that too. Actually. Some amounts past these uh, the cheeks. Robot cheeks. Wait, it's not a robot. What do we? It's a. It's, a, it's basically. A it's like an SUV in the future. Basically, kind of what it is. <laughs> sure. Yeah. I feel like we're missing out by not naming our current SUVs such things as, you know, chicken walkers, two and four little acronym pairs. Yeah, it is kind of weak that we call things like. It's a minivan. Yeah. We knew we were getting the Sedona. That. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So. Oh, this is going to get a little weird because it doesn't line up to. something like this because I don't have a so I could use a uh, joint push pull to do some weird push pulling like that but because this is not parallel uh, got to be a little more a little creative I feel like that was one of the one of the things I liked the most about the animated series was that they they could be a little more creative with the way these things are laid out because they didn't have to make practical effects. They just model right. it. Cool. That's looking kind of neat. Um, yeah, let's get up on the top of this thing. So it looks like we have the hatch right here and then we got some, uh, some fins here, you know, probably for heat distribution or something along those lines. Oh, well, sure. All right, so we're going to say on plane. That's so we can go faster. That makes a lot of sense. So I'm going to erase half of it. And uh, going a little quick and dirty right now. Uh, just because. There we go. That'll work. Um, yeah, this thing here. Uh, you know, I feel like I gotta skip that and uh, maybe get some get some hip little hip work done. Um, yeah, you need you need the hips you need the hips working. Hips don't lie. That's right. All right, so here's how we're doing some quick blasters. About this far, offset that, pull that out, offset out, pull that out. And then, yeah, after that, it's just kind of greedily time. We go, okay, let's go start here. Just kind of greebly time. I was just watching an Adam Savage video this morning where he was uh, showing a mold of a toy design he made for Star Wars like 20 years ago. It's pretty funny. I would, uh, I would probably trot that thing out on a regular basis. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, what, this whole thing on my coffee toy? table? Yeah. <laughs> um, so to, uh, obviously, this looks like it's got cut down the middle with this this edge right here. So 
if I go into one half, let's go to fuel component edit, hide so, similar so components. Keggy said, and I feel like I don't want to sleep on any advice Keggy offers. The lasers were mounted on a gimbal so that they could rotate. I, I'm more. Okay. All right. I, I, I agree with what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I have 30 minutes to make this look like uh, like I did add some detail. Yes, absolutely. That is true. Uh, what I'm going to do here real quick is select all those edges, just the edges like that. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to hide them. That's going to make my two halves look like it's seamless, even though it's still two separate pieces. Um, yes, I, I totally get that, Keggy. There's some there's stuff going on so they can move around and that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm this is a prototype. I'm, I'm this is an early, early model. That's right. Um, so these legs do look like they're on some kind of a you know, like a second hinge here where it, it hinges both ways. If you watch that, it's stop motion, but in Jedi, where the the super engineering Ewoks drop logs down and this it falls like that. If you watch it, like those legs like go in and out and like it tries to stay balanced. It's actually a pretty yeah, cool true. sequence. Like I think about like I think that was Sam Win Sam Winston doing stop motion. Like very cool uh, application there. Yeah, they uh, did a they did yeah. a good good job of making it. Uh, Try and recover. Yeah, that was, that was very cool. All right, so I'm going to make a pseudo version of whatever that was. What is going on? Why am I? What? No geometry? No. Something like that. There we go. Well, you'll be you'll be happy to know. At least Keggy's not up there doing that. Um, actually, he's not trying to correct you so much as just putting the facts out there. Hey, sharing info, I'm all for. That's that's cool by me. Yeah, I, I didn't I didn't mean to come across like blowing you off or anything Defensive. like that either. But uh... <laughs> I know, I know. Something like that, trying to just do some quick mocky mocking type uh there we go. Something for it to be connected to. Now, because this was one piece and I didn't cut this in half, which I should have done, uh I guess I could just do that real quick, right? You got my permission. Right, thanks, buddy. Right, let's just draw, do a plane right here. So if I do ever want to take something, chop in half, make two components, uh, I just need a center point. So here's a center point. And then what I'll do is flip to the side like this, draw this out. Make sure I'm following the red and green axes. Then that gives me that plane. I can take this plane intersect face with context. Context means only what's inside the container I'm currently working on because I don't want to intersect with anything on the outside. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Yeah. Oh, got a nice little teeny tiny segment. All right, and then I'll do the same thing. I'll just do this from the beginning. Uh, from the beginning, I will take this geometry and hide it. And then take this very component so I can just grab it. There we go. 
Now I got both sides like that. Um, cool. Yeah, he's he's actually like a, coming apart. They're coming together. Yeah, he, he. Yeah, we don't want him to come apart. <laughs> the opposite of coming he, uh, apart is what he's, I was trying to say. He looks as, as stable as he, as they do in the movie. <laughs> Just about. <laughs> that's, that that's, sounds like might be an insult, but no, 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 no. That's, that's kind of yeah. That's, I buy that. True to form. Cool. Um, I guess we throw these uh these things on the side over here. In so it looks like a grenade launcher is a tube. Yep, verified. Andy wants to know if you ever merge the two halves together or if you always leave them separate. Um, it depends because if I so if this was like a a model that I was doing for fun, and I was going to keep working on and I was going to detail it out and, you know, get screenshots and that kind of stuff. Um, I would probably keep it apart, you know, get this detail in the back, get these some panels wrapped around here, rivets or panel lines I want to put in. I would do that as long as it's the same on both sides. So you can see most of this stuff is, cement, again, not the best picture of this but uh you can see everything is fairly symmetric the lines here are over here uh everything when you get to the top on that hatch this little circle thing that i just i just kind of put a detail in the middle it's actually offset on one of the sides so that is different the uh the weapons on the side the grenade launcher versus the light blaster cannon uh are different uh looks like everything back here looks the same too so I would probably put as much detail as I could that repeated itself together first and then come back in and, and uh, add that, uh, add them together before I did stuff where it was non-symmetric. So the problem is inevitably, as soon as you do that, make it symmetric, there's gonna be a detail that pops out and goes, oh, you forgot about me. That's <laughs> always how it works. So. Murphy's law. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a couple of quick panel lines because that's an easy way to add some more detail. Easy details, nice. Yes. I first, don't have a good shot of the top, but it does look like maybe there's. Something. Like one thing I can tell you for sure is there is not any kind of railing to keep the pilot uh, stable if he climbs up there. Yep. No, nope. a Wookiee could just grab him and chuck him right out. <laughs> That's right. It definitely did not plan for the Wookiee. Nope. Nope. No. <laughs> you know what they say? Nobody expects a Wookiee. They do. They. I mean, they talk, and that is one of the things they, they talk they about. They say things. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little little something here. Like that. All right. They here's, were using, here's a picture of the top. Using some auto fold. Here. I'm gonna be honest. Based on this picture, I'm I'm a liar. There is a little little bit of railing up there. Oh yeah, but that's like three inches tall. Like yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. No, if you're standing up, you're falling. It's gonna prevent your cell phone from sliding off on accident, but. <laughs> Not much more. Nope, I'm not gonna do that. Cool. Uh, yeah, let's just do a couple, do a couple more details here. Pull this up, and then it looks like he's got like a spring there. What this geometry is, but it's uh, it's a greebly. It is just straight up greebly-ish. You know, I am going to want to see that other half because oops, 
Up too much. Something like that. A little more detail up there. Um, 20 minutes left. Hmm. Where else to spend time? Uh, you can add like, is there stuff kind of on top of the little engine? You know what else there's, uh, I guess I could make these panels open. That could be kind of cool. Let's do that. Yet another thing for Eric to animate. That's right. Yeah, I guess I could do that. All right, here, let's do this. Let's just first get it out of the way. Rotate up a copy real quick. That its own component. We call this. We've gone human our the whole time now, so let's just call this an eyelid. I think that's. I think that's right. Armor plated eyelid. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. I, I didn't put the detail mm -hmm. in. First you know, you could also add a little antenna on the uh, driver's rear corner. I'm not getting near drivers just so you can use rear can be oh back here you... it occurs to you. me that saying driver's side means something different to probably at least half of the people observing it's true excellent points um this a little bit of height and then grab just the parts that make this up whoops I seem to, seem to be missing something I uh, will grab that and I'll make that component Wait, did I do that once did I explode it all right what's going on here Oh, did I? All right, I'll try this a third time. Make component. I don't know how I turned that off. All right, eyelid. There we go. And then what I will also do here is put <clears throat> another control point. I'll have this go from here to here and then run long. Take that edge. Okay, there's a control point. And then if Eric likes, he can come in here and he can. There we go. Oops, you know what? This is a fun situation. Yep. So the issue that's coming up is this is off axis. This this is not oh. going to an axis. So what I have to do, it's it's okay. We can make this work. Uh, if I come in here, the easiest way to do this is going to be to while in context reset the axis again. So I'm going to go to tools, grab my axis tool, run this guy back here like this, and double click. And now I'm just going to draw a quick circle right here on the end. Now, if I grab this, I go to rotate, I can come on this surface right here, find the center. Oops, missed the center. <laughs> Try again. There we go. That seems way different than what I was hoping would happen. Yeah, that, that didn't look right. So perfect. Just like that. Boom. Now I'm mad and I want this thing to work. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe open them out to the sides. Uh, Sideways eyelids. All right, let's try this again. 
All right, so I'm gonna reset the axes. Okay, here, simple. I got teaching there. I was I was teaching, and uh, one goes there, and then one goes here. There we go. Now. So Lawrence is requesting that you make the guns into a cigar, and then you add a big black mustache. I feel like that's a perfect thing for somebody to do in the 3D warehouse. Ooh, go for nice. it. Look at that. Hey, check it. Perfect. All right, but I do want to make sure to put that onto control points also. All right, so now if I grab this, rotate it, I can come to the circle. There we go. And that is proper. And if I wanted to close it, I could use this point and then grab that point and bring that down right here to actually close those up. Not that Eric will mess with that in the slightest. That'll never be a thing he touches, but it's there. I gave him the controls. He has the controls to do that. Um, You're all about all about options here. That's right. I, I give. I give and I give. Cool. Um, all right, so I'm going to have to move the legs up a little bit because they're hitting the, the trunk here. Move it from the center point four inches. Okay, so you do the same over here. Do that maybe a tiny four. And then I'll come down here. Making up details. Are they are they greebly details? Mm -hmm. They're actually not. They're they're a little bit too broad to be called a greebly. I would have to go in there and cut some more more edges in there. All right. Um. um more greeblies. Yeah. They're 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 light greeblies. Wait. Why is that not right? What? Oh. I don't think I actually. I think I just kind of eyeballed where I placed that one. Unacceptable. There we go. I'm going to say that that's the level of detail I'm going for in this, this, uh, this thing. I like I think it. That looks like a, I think that looks like a very legitimate at set. What, 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 what do we get for the full height of this guy? 9.04 meters or 9.08. All right. I don't remember what he said. Nine. Zero eight meters. Yes. Ooh, that's that, that got a little bigger. I look more appropriate. That does. You could now you could fit a Wookie inside of that thing. Yeah, that would suck. That'd be scary. That does seem intimidating. That is definitely. If you're on the ground like this, like mm -hmm. watching it in a movie, yeah. it kind of looks goofy. But this, this that would that would scare me. All right. Luckily, the the guns can't aim, so you're fine. That's true. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Unless you're, uh, yeah, at least ten meters tall, you're pretty safe there. Uh, I'm not gonna it right now. All right, I'm gonna save that. Hey, it looks good. Save it. And tell you what else I'll do. I'm going to take this and I will throw it up on 3D Warehouse and I will throw a link into our forum, forums.sketchup.com. If you go to the happening section, this should be the top post there. Uh, and if you want to download it and continue to detail it, please do. And if you do that and uh, post it on social media, wherever you like to hang out, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, I suppose you can post on LinkedIn, uh, just make sure you tag us. We'd love to love to see what you do with this thing. So, yeah, looks pretty cool. And and speaking of what you're gonna do with this thing, Mister Eric Sargent will be here next week, and he's gonna take this very model. Based on the detail, maybe it'll be off on the side, but uh, he's gonna 
assemble a scene and uh, maybe do some rendering, something like that, and make it look uh, really cool. So it's going to be fun. I look forward to seeing what he does. Yeah, me too. It's going to be interesting. I, I, I always I always enjoy that because it's not uh, it's not a skill set that I've developed very much. So it's cool to see somebody who's does a really good job of you know assembling the scenes and thinking about how they're going to look when they get rendered. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, make make the hard work you did look more impressive. I like that. Anything that makes yeah, me look a little better. better than reality, I'll take. Hey, you know the way I see it, just about anything could. When you're at the bottom of the hill, you can only go up. That's right. Oh, that hurt. Okay, let's end on that <laughs> note. Thank you guys. Always for, on enough. <laughs> thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, I hope you guys had a good time. I hope you have a great weekend coming up. Uh, yeah, and, and, and a great week. Hopefully, see you back here wherever you're joining us from next Friday. Same, same sketchy time, same sketchy channel. Oh, it doesn't roll. Perfect. Okay, it we'll almost it. works. Yeah. All right. Enjoy. See you guys later. See you guys. Yeah, for sure. I'd love to help them out. I lost my lost my mouse. Gotta... No, on my on the other machine.